okay to say, oh, I am not an antinomian. That we in the question that, but, address I'm not talking about them, if any people that I know, I have to repent in some respects because it reminds me that there are things that I need to make right with, uh oh, with certain people that I know. But nonetheless, I know in case praise wants to clip this, I guess I should address I'm not talking about them. If anything, Olive owes me an apology for all the years of lies that she's apparently been telling about me. But, but, without interacting further with that crew of people, it does beg the question that what we have read from Dr. Gertzner is, is it not a perfect description of all of these free or hyper gracers that we encounter online? Is it not what Charles Jennings says? He goes strictly out of his way to say, oh, I am not an antinomian. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's it's the, the evidence. Yeah, I would use it as a as a reference. I would personally what you read there. I, I agree with it completely. And I would say the evidence that they're on the wrong path with their understanding, despite all the things he said about them at the beginning, which is right justification and how it comes, in my opinion. But the evidence that they're on the wrong trail and they don't fully grasp what what it's being taught in the New Testament is just the derivations, which continue to be the ugly deformed children of this way of thinking which is where people start to say things like you know they, they start it's kind of this weird thing some of them will recognize what the text is actually saying and then they start to say well that isn't for us that's for the jews and they make an even ex more extreme split between the jews and uh, the church and then yeah for all i mean these are the kind of people that ryan uh have some measure of respect for, or he wouldn't allow them in his studio, and that's up to him. Grand Inquisitor Pro, a person, a Catholic, who has stated and claimed that the Inquisitions were ethical. Initially it was humanitarian. He said the Inquisitions were actually humanitarian. Then they changed the title of the so-called debate. The Inquisitions were ethical, blah, blah. What a load of tosh. I did have the recording of that. Uh, that got deleted. Jamie Russell, saved based workstationist. Yeah. Levi, Hebrew Roots, and then obviously Ryan, the Calvinist, Presbyterian, Reformed, blah, de, blah, blah. I mean, he's just spent, what, half an hour, nearly an hour, reading from uh, John Gerstner's uh, stuff, who is a Calvinist, was, I mean, he died, passed away, sorry, and uh, R.C. Sproul was his pupil. Gerstner was a professor of some sort. Just reading uh, Gerstner's stuff at people as though it's proof that a certain bunch of people are uh, antinomian. I don't think I'll be reading scholar, so-called scholars, especially Calvinist ones, but then Ryan is a Calvinist. Veckel showed up here earlier. Another cretin alongside uh, rebuke and reprove. I don't see Ryan as being uh, as nutty as those two. Jamie, I mean, you know, Seventh-day Adventism, come on, what a lot of tosh. Those three wouldn't get in my studio uh, to refute any false teachers, because all three of these here, are, all four of them actually, are false teachers, <laughs> touting Calvinism, Presbyterianism, whatever. I haven't interacted with Ryan on this Calvinism, no point. He's the main leader behind Veckel, Jill, Sharpening Iron Podcast, the Cynicog. I think he's at root behind all four of them and one or two others. <coughs> <coughs> it is interesting that Calvinists keep turning up at Prayer Dime's channel. That's up to him, you know. I don't care, particularly. 
It just causes confusion to people who don't know what Calvinism is. Sharpening Iron podcast never seems to tire of calling people brother. He's not a brother. He's not my brother. Neither is Veckel or Rebuke or Ryan or Synecog. Uh, Synecog will sense you. These people won't be honest about their Calvinism. They will lie. They will fallacy, fallacy after fallacy is what you're going to get from them. Anyway, I'm going to end this recording here. I don't know why Ryan thinks that Olive needs to apologise to him. Uh, I doubt if you get one anyway. Has she been regularly telling lies about you for years? I don't know. I don't care. I'm not amazed by either. I'm not. I'm not the slightest bit amazed. Comes in my opinion, but the evidence that they're all going crazy over this. But basically, what it is that the Jews had court. I mean, don't get me wrong. And I have a of all the legislation that is cons- the second tier to me is dumb. I, so I mean, it's just a fact that the Jewish people in the first century were called. But I would like to say. Every, my sins kill. I think that's the way people should kind of look at it. Jesus died for sin. Well, you know, reading, even I have to repent in some respects because it reminds me that there are things that I need to make right with, uh oh, with certain people that I know. But nonetheless, I know in case Praise wants to clip this, I guess I should address I'm not talking about them. If anything, Olive owes me an apology for all the years of lies that she's apparently been telling about me but yeah good luck with that good luck with that without